Hi. So, it's a quick thing again. Is it worth it? Let's figure it out. So, one, I decided to, like, start painting my nails again. Because, um, in January, I bought all the stuff because I was going to do poly gel nails. And I did my research, you know, hours of YouTube to find out which dupe was, you know, going to actually work. Because the real stuff, I can't afford. It's like 300 and something dollars. That's not in my budget. I did find, a, you know, on the YouTube things, cheaper versions that still worked very well and they had good ratings. So I tried to buy that. I've gotten all the other things, the lamp, the colors, even the jewels. Except for the actual stuff. Now, I got my money back, okay? Don't worry about that. I did give him money back because I had bought it through Amazon. <sighs> now, when I get the money, because right now money isn't a thing, but when it does come in, I'm going to have to buy them through AliExpress. Because unfortunately, in this case, they're most probably going to show up faster. I'm going to wait in six months from Amazon. I don't think it's getting here. So, the my nails. Speaking of AliExpress, I'm cool with AliExpress. I really do. But cute is the thing that got me. Now, anybody knows me knows I'm done with Wish because, you know, whatever. And there's this app that came up cute. Now, I didn't know that it was Wish in disguise until I bought something. And that's what the mail is today. I haven't even opened it yet. And I'm pretty sure that's that's what it's... It, I'm pretty sure that's what's in there, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be disappointed, so I'm going to open it with you. So, this is what I tried to buy. You can see it. So, yeah, I color all the time at work. Even sometimes here when I'm stressed. It's great. And gel pens are super expensive. So, this says 48 pieces gin palette. You know, lots of words because they put in all the keywords in case people search. And, um, you know, it was, it was pretty cheap. Now, the reason why it, it was so cheap and it was not $2, like it says there, I think it's like 5 Um, And today was like the day for it to get, actually, it should have been here yesterday. I'm not going to be a jerk and get my money back. But there is other things that I ordered that were supposed to be here yesterday that haven't. And then another thing that I, that I ordered, which was, was makeup. Uh, don't ask me why I tried to buy um, eyeshadow <clears throat> off of... Okay, I didn't know it was Wish. So I didn't know I was getting cheap shit. Um, but it should have been here and they've, they've changed the date like six times. So I can't place my order to say like I didn't get it yet. Give me my money back. They keep pushing the date back. So, you know, after the, I'm done with Q. Because I didn't know it was Wish until it came through on my bank statement. So, anybody out there that doesn't like Wish, don't go with cute, same people. All right, so I'm gonna open this up and I'm kind of super excited because there's a possibility that my sister might be able to stop by today. She's doing a bunch of errands and um, that'd be kind of cool. I've got a bunch of that makeup together. And, um, oh, it's not what I thought it was. And um, I wanna see my niece and nephew and maybe my brother-in-law, anyway. Oh, it's this. This is the other thing that was supposed to be in today. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, these five... Again, I'm try I'm buying all the stuff to get the poly gel stuff, but the poly gel stuff ain't showed up. Um, yeah, they're, they're just now files. They're what I want. They're, they're grit. I don't know what the numbers mean. I know the number, okay? It's like the tough one that will really like wear things down and shape the poly gel that I don't have. Um, so I'm glad that these are here, but they weren't what I was thinking was in there. This is what I mean by like gel pens refills. Why? Sure. I thought it was a great idea because it was cheap and one, it's less of an environmental thing because the only part I was buying was this part, the inside. So I've been keeping all of my empty gel pens because I thought that I was going to be getting some, you know, more. It's just the ink part, which is kind of a genius idea. Just sell the ink part because one, it costs them less money. 
Two, it costs me less money, which is great. And three, it's better on the environment. However, they failed. P.S. Same thing goes for Wish. I mean, a lot of people try it because, yeah, you eventually get everything for free because it takes so long to get your, your money back. But after a while, when you, you order a lot of things like I was doing, after a while, they stop giving you your money back. They start giving you a really hard time. And the only way to communicate with them is through email. And they're all Chinese. Like, no offense to them. That's just where their, their you know, company is based. So everything that you write in an email, if you are dealing with Wish, keep in mind that you have to leave it simple because they're going to use Google Translate or, or whatever Translate they have because I don't think China's allowed to have Google. Anyway, they're, they're just going to translate it into Chinese. So if you use complicated words, those words will not translate correctly and they might not understand what you're trying to say. But yes, so, I mean, with Wish, I had, you know, I bought a lot of stuff because it's cheap and I was willing to wait for it. But after a while, they weren't coming in anymore and I would try to put in, you know, I didn't get my item. And with Wish, white and cute. Anything that comes from China that's really, really cheap and has free shipping takes forever to get here. Because with their free shipping, they don't give Canada Post any money. So, their tracking ends when it comes to Canada. And that's where the trouble came in with Wish. And by the way, if you can see the nails behind me, it's all pictures from the Instagram account, VAP Nails Are You. I, they're beautiful. I love them. I'll never be able to be that caliber, but that's what I try to be. And um, it's a Russian site, so I can't read whatever. It doesn't matter. I just look at the pictures. Same reason why people buy Playboy. Look at the pictures. No, that's for the articles, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever. With Wish, you know, I'm done. But I'll still buy things from Amazon, even though it's usually the same vendors. Because Amazon has opened the door to third-party vendors. To kind of, like, not lose business, pretty much. Which is fine. And sometimes it's the exact same vendors selling stuff. So you'll find the same thing on Wish that you'll find on Amazon. And it's usually about the same price anyway. Um... But the thing is, is, with Amazon, you're backed up. Because when you talk to somebody, you can call. I mean, you'll get the Philippines, so that's a little bit, you know, no offense to the Filipinos, they're nice people. I'm just saying, geographically, I'm just saying that they are geographically, or whatever that word is, challenged. But, whatever, okay? At least they're polite and they're nice. There's no arguing about getting your money back. They're, they're good, you know, or you can email someone from Amazon and you can email them in English or French and, you know, the person reading it actually reads that language. So that's pretty cool. But my experience that goes back a while by I stopped with Wish is <sighs> that was complicated. I had like three things and by then I was starting to buy things that cost more money because I was starting to trust them. And I lost out on like 50 bucks. Because was a, there was three items. And they kept telling me that it um, had arrived to my local postal facility in Richmond. So try to explain to Wish while you're typing. And that, you know, you can't talk. That Richmond is in British Columbia. And I am on the other side of the continent. On the other ocean. And one day I actually Googled how many kilometers there is between each coast. Didn't work. They kept insisting that Richmond was my local area. It wasn't. Obviously not. So I lost all my money. And then even before all that, there was one thing that I, I had not received. And they did give me money back for that though. Because that was like one of the first times when they were starting to be, you know, you've received it and I would fight back. It um, eventually did get to me because where it was delivered, it was delivered in this weird, um, text in banlieue in English. Anyway, uh, outskirts of the city of Montreal. And the person who received the mail clearly realized that the mail was not for them. And they sent it back 
to me. And I, I, I got it in the mail later on and it had like a little note saying like where it had been delivered. So it was this weird place that had nothing to do with, you know, Moncton. How it even got there, I have no idea. Um, Actually, wait, I do know why. I do know why. Because I asked my landlord. Again, my landlord works for Canada Post, okay? That's his everyday job. Uh, usually in the summertime, though, he takes like two or three months off because he's been there for that long and he works extra hours for vacation. But he's not on vacation because him and his girlfriend own a camping place. So he's busy up in the campground and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, still nice guy, not complaining. But he did explain to me how when they get things, you know, from China. So let's see if we can find it on here. Now this one's addressed properly. So it has to do with the addressing. So I know you can't see my address is good. I don't want you to. But usually when they send things from, from China, it has like these ones with the, the squares. I don't want you to see too much of it. has the square part and that's, there's an, okay, robots are taking over or like automation is taking over to save money and there's less people doing stuff, which ends up with messes for us, you know? So maybe we should tell the government to give more money to the post office because we do want to have mail at our door and you know, all that kind of stuff would be great. Let's get back to the point. So the problem is, is that in New Brunswick, our postal code starts with the letter E. And when China prints these labels, their letter E doesn't really look like our letter E. Because again, Chinese language, they don't use our alphabet, okay? So they're, I don't know, I don't know where they get their alphabet, but it must be off some kind of internet thing. But when they put the letter E in there, it actually looks a lot like the sign for the British pound. And what happens is that it confuses the automatic scanner. So for all the people in New Brunswick that have bought things from Wish, and that only got it like six months later or have never received it at all, that's most probably why, is that when it went through the automatic scanner, it didn't know where to send it. It didn't recognize the letter E. So either it just got tossed in a bin and was never, you know, it's lost forever. Or it eventually went through a bunch of different places where people picked it up and went, oh, this isn't for me and shoved it back in or whatever. So, that's my story about Wish. I'm done with them because trying to get your money back after a while, they will stop giving you your money back if things aren't on time. They will start arguing with you. And trying to tell me that my local postal office is in Richmond, BC, but I'm in New Brunswick. And I mean, I tried. I, I, I really did try. <sighs> AliExpress, however, they are still, you know, no, they're not in China. They're Indian. Because AliExpress is the underneath the Wish side of Alibaba. And Alibaba is the Asian version of Amazon. And right now, since everything's global, they're kind of clashing. Like, it's kind of the fight of who's going to win what. Uh, however, with AliExpress, never had a problem. I mean, I've had things, you know, as receiving them problem. But customer service-wise, they've... Never, you know, they always give me money back. I did buy some nail polish stuff and I got the wrong color. Um, they refunded me and then gave me the chance to, to get another order, you know, for free. So no problem with that. Communication is, is really good. And again, with Amazon, same thing. Um, I just went through it with them about my brushes. I just went through like, you know, a customer service thing with my brushes, like these ones. Um, yeah, I still use them. I, I do. And I, I learned to kind of like them, actually. But two of them were broken, the bigger ones. I had to glue them back together. Now, they were only like $11 and something when I bought them. That wasn't the point. And I put in, you know, the usual steps. And the nice thing about Amazon, again, because this is a third-party seller. And then if they're not, you know, playing like they should... You have what's called the A to Z claim with Amazon. And once that's put in there, they take care of it. You you know, you just take the wheel, Amazon's in charge. And they actually, you know, um, sorry, 
the kids are outside on bikes and they like to sit in the middle of the road with a bike to make sure a car stops and then harass cars. Sorry, okay, sorry. <laughs> but, so once A to Z takes over, I mean, they communicated with me and um, the shop that sold me these, they broke the rules because they're a third party seller. So yes, Amazon has rules. So one, Amazon forced them to give me money back. And they kept trying to send me messages privately to influence my um, to influence my review of them as a store, as a vendor on Amazon. And that is against Amazon's policies. And at first there were because I, I didn't know those were the policies, by the way. So maybe I'm sharing them with people who don't know. And now you do. More power to the people. Uh, but because the first email I got back from them was like, well, we're really sorry that two of them are broken. Um, and it cost you too much to send it back because, you know, mailing this back would have been the same amount as I paid to get them. We'll offer you a 35% off. 35% off is like a $4 thing. I was like, no, like, look, if I wanted 35% of the brushes, I would have bought another set. And that's when Amazon was like, whoa, whoa, they're not supposed to be talking to you. Send us all the copies of the emails that they're sending you because they're not supposed to. So A to Z claim can take up to two months. Just to let you know, it can because they have to look into things. However, this time I gave them the evidence. And this goes for any kind of customer service that you're trying to do in the world. Whether it be with your bank, it can be with Walmart, Costco, online stuff. The more that you give them evidence that they don't have to go hunt for, the faster you're going to get a result and the more chances you're going to get what you want as a result. Because you're just, just hand it to them on a silver platter. Easier that way. So um, I did that. Maybe because I'm a nerd and I keep everything. I don't know. It took them about four days to come back with giving me the money back. And then they informed me that this company is no longer allowed to do business on Amazon because they broke the rules. So that's how Amazon goes. And that's just why I want to put it out there. Amazon, good. Like, I'm glad they have that. They've got my back. That's why I, I'm done with PayPal, but I will still buy through Amazon. Because if I get something that's crappy, broken, doesn't work, I'm not happy with it. Yeah, there's a claim. There's things, there's rules that vendors have to abide by. So I'm happy with that. And AliExpress, Again, I've never had that much of a problem before. I've had a couple problems, but when it comes to like customer service wise, they're very prompt and very there. Again, they want you to deal with the vendor itself first, but if the vendor themselves don't want to help you, you can go higher. With Wish, you're not getting anywhere. And that stupid cute app is the same thing as Wish. It's Wish in disguise. And it's pointless and I'm with that I'm only gonna let you go because it's nice and sunshiny out there and maybe I'm gonna have some visit soon I don't know but I gotta go put my claim in to try to get my money back for the stuff I didn't get so the point of today's video of is it worth it the cute app no not worth it don't don't, don't try it <laughs>